let's talk about a new successor to Yuzu. This is Suyu, like what Nintendo's about to do to you. Suyu is a new Nintendo Switch emulator. Well, new is generous. It's actually built upon Yuzu. So before I begin, full disclosure, there is no full build available. I downloaded this build as part of an artifact of someone else's build process. You can do this over on their GitLab page, but I wouldn't recommend doing it. I would recommend just waiting for an official build release. This also isn't really a comparison between Yuzu and Suyu, because Suyu doesn't really have that many changes, if any that is. So let's start with a big question. Can you use this as a drop-in replacement for Yuzu? Well, sort of. If you already have title keys and product keys and also the Switch firmware installed on your Yuzu installation, it's fairly easy to transfer over. A lot of the folder structure is identical to Yuzu, except, you know, the main folder is called Suyu instead. Essentially, this means you can transfer all of your save data as well as your NAND and your product and title keys over to Suyu fairly easily. And for those of you that have Yuzu installed via Emudeck, yes, you could just literally replace the Yuzu app image with the Suyu app image. That's what I did and all of my Nintendo Switch shortcuts show up there. And finally, Suyu on Nintendo Switch. How is it? Well, I mean, it's based on Yuzu, and Yuzu, the final version of Yuzu, was quite good. I don't really know of many major changes they've made besides renaming everything to Suyu and also removing the original telemetry, which is a great move by the way because Nintendo has access to the telemetry. And while the main Yuzu domain was seized by Nintendo, Nintendo never shut down the servers for the telemetry, meaning that they could get fresh new telemetry to this day today. But if you want to stick with Yuzu, I would recommend turning off telemetry. So now for the big question. How is Suyu? Well, it's hard for me to evaluate Suyu because I haven't used Switch emulation in such a long time. But what I can safely tell you is that most of the Yuzu tutorials out there still apply to Suyu. It's just that Emudeck no longer installs Yuzu for you, nor does it set up Yuzu for you anymore. And the one game I really wanted to showcase was in fact a vanillaware game that I actually bought, Unicorn Overlord. On the surface, it seems kind of like Fire Emblem meets Advance Wars, but it's really not. It's sort of like Advance Wars meets Final Fantasy Tactics meets Final Fantasy XII's Gambit system. I'm not gonna lie to you, I still haven't delved too deep into the system, but it seems like there's a lot of room for, you know, building out your characters and also strategy. But what I can see on the onset is that they do have a Jane-like character, a character that's already promoted and is pretty strong by himself. But you shouldn't rely on him too much because you need to level up your other characters. Anyways, Unicorn Overload runs pretty well on Steam Deck. I haven't had any issues or even really any frame drops whatsoever. Or at least any frame drops I could see. Yeah, I didn't have the frame rate graph on because honestly, I just wanted to play this game alright. So of course I want to try see you at. But what about Ryu Jinx? Well, Ryu Jinx is the other Nintendo Switch emulator and unlike Yuzu, it wasn't sued to the ground. So of course Ryu Jinx's original developers are still working on Ryu Jinx. And the truth is that Ryu Jinx was always a more accurate Nintendo Switch emulator, but it came at a cost. Higher system requirements. What this means is that Ryu Jinx is a more accurate experience, but it's also a more detrimental experience on lower end hardware. It's not to say that you can't run certain games through Ryu Jinx on Steam Deck at 60 FPS, but for like higher fidelity games like Tears of the Kingdom, it probably won't run as well as it would on Yuzu. And that's before all the performance mods as well as running the game at like half resolution and all that stuff even using FSR. There also is one more major CU announcement that's really exciting. You can actually run the Nintendo Switch home menu on your Steam Deck, which is crazy. I mean, personally, on my Steam Deck, I prefer to just launch the games directly, but if you want to use the Nintendo Switch home screen to pretend like you have a Nintendo Switch, then by all means, you can do that. It is a very cool feature, but it's not something I'm going to harp on. Okay, yeah, this is a bit of a shorter video, but I just want to showcase this really quickly because I thought it'd be pretty cool to show off. The big question now is, what will Nintendo do? If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high-tech lowlife with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high-tech lowlife, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description.